is a women's War Games match. The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins. The match could be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Now, let the War Games begin! A true trailblazer in the women's evolution. The fearless one has arrived. Nikki Bella is here. Introducing first, representing the Bella Twins from San Diego, California, Nikki Bella. War Games is what happens when all else fails. She knows that, her teammates know that, and their opponents sure as hell know that. Neither side will give an inch to the other. Both sides know to show no mercy. Yeah, but in the middle of this chaos, this battle will need leaders, and there's no better leader than the first soldier on the battlefield. She's gonna have to compete at her highest level even with the advantage. Breeboard! Why do I have this terrible vision in my mind of you cosplaying as Brie Bella Saxton? It's and a possibility. Representing the Bella Twins from San Diego, California, Brie Bella. Very rarely are the odds worse for you than starting war games with a disadvantage. With a Royal Rumble or Elimination Chamber, the next entrant is completely random. She knows in war games the next person yeah. in will attack her mercilessly. Now is the time to be brave, to show your heart. Fight with every fiber of your being until help arrives. Then keep fighting until War Games is over. You see her right now, guys. I see her looking at the other team. In fact, I'm reading her eyes. Her eyes are saying, I am ready, and I will give you a war you won't believe. This is War Games. First two competitors ready to go to battle in this true test of fortitude and will. Ready to go to battle, ready to take each other to the limit for their respective teams. We are about to witness some truly anything goes mayhem here in this one. Double the rigs, double the cage, and double the destruction. That's war games for you, unless you've been there before. Few superstars truly know what's in store for them in a match like this. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Bulldog! Interrupts the offense with a coming strike. Executed arm drag. Oh, straight forearm. Caught with a DDT. Connie down to seconds until this match becomes a bit lopsided. Shifted. Ooh. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. See it, drop kick connects. Where is having any hopes of gaining momentum, Dad? Zero remorse from Nikki Bella. Oh. Corey, I understand how planning ahead for a match like War Games can seem like an exercise in futility, but is there anything you think either of these teams or possibly both have in mind here? Other than winning? 
I'm sure both teams have talked about how to deal with the numbers disadvantage when it falls on them. Talk strategy before and after the match officially begins. A lot of big picture stuff, I'm sure. If you're on the opposite side of this entry, you are bracing for a fight. Nikki Bella with a nice reversal. A series of reversals. Elbow smash. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. Oh, here it is. The abdominal stretch. Grabbing the ankle for extra court. Ooh. She's fighting desperately. New entrant about to come in and not a moment too soon. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. She's fighting back. And with the next combatant on their way, it looks like things are close to a fair fight once again. to become one-sided. Attack. Oh, 
for these competitors. It is down, but who still has the energy, the resolve, to put the pedal to the metal. And she is sustaining a real focus above the shoulders. Attacks in that area could leave her opponent in a daze. Sure, this one was over. Ooh, what a four. Oh, what a power with the turn. Ascending the War Games cage. No idea what her plan would be. And that was an efficient form of offense for that move. Sitting high above the ring, the only question is to what end?